The Sesh Podcast, episode 155, take one. Hi, friends, and welcome back to The Sesh. I am Kendall. And I am Janelle. And we are joined here with our pro pros, Sydney and Corelli. What up, ladies? Hello, ma'ams. How y'all doing What's today? Up? Excellent. Excellent. The vibes oh, love are to high. Hear that. Yes. The energy is up. It's a beautiful right. day. Mm-hmm. We're here to mm-hmm. slay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and I just have to say that I love starting my week like this. You should have said, I love starting my day. <laughs> I should have. With a sesh I love starting my slay. Monday with a sesh, sesh slay. Mm-hmm. Boom. It is fun. It's, it's a good way to start off the week. I know. We purposely set it up like that. Sure did. That the first show of the week... That's right. Sesh because it's fun. That's, that's I mean, right. all our shows are fun, of course, but Sesh is extra fun. Is extra goofy. fun. F is for friends who do stuff together. You it was for that. you and me. And N is for anywhere and anytime at all. Down here <laughs> in the deep blue sea. Thank that's you. Right. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Um, howdy ho, folks. Oh my God. Wait, starting off the show, I have to show you guys this oh, freaking yes. pickle candle. Uh, two people, Paige and Kathy, sent us from Canada. This is so iconic. Thank you so much for sending this. This is the cutest thing ever. Isn't it? I don't it'll, want to light it, though, because I feel no. like it'll ruin it. No, Pile we will not. We cannot light. It's I not wish scented, it smelled so. like pickles. No, it doesn't There's smell. no reason to light it. Yeah. I feel we need to keep it on display. Agreed. I think it goes up on our little shelf On back our here. shelf? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Our pile of pickles. Mm-hmm. Whoop, whoop. So freaking cute. Oh my do God. you guys do the pickle tradition for your Christmas tree? Um, John's family does, but I, yeah. had, I didn't know about it until... I met his family. Yeah. What is this pickle tradition? Um, We don't do anything like that in my family. We started it. Some random neighbor told us about it and gave us, say, a pickle for Christmas one year. And it's an ornament, a pickle ornament. You hang it up on the tree. And then the person to find the pickle ornament gets to open the first gift. Oh. Usually it's like kind of hidden. Yeah. You hide the pickle. Yes. You find the pickle. There is um, a candy made by a Clausen, right? Yeah. Clausen. Right now that I saw at Walmart on candy TikTok. from Clawson pickle candy. What? It's like a gummy, but it's apple flavored, like sour apples, not even pickle flavored. So I was like, oh, mm, that's lame. Yeah. I really want to try like a pickle ice cream. Now I'm like all in the Need mood for that. trying different flavor ice creams. Yes. You know, and that, I'm was, that was a good time. I can't believe how long we talked about ice cream and we then did. candy and other random food and things for God. It went on for like 20 minutes. Hey, and you guys liked to go it. on a rant. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> I was really surprised. I was because I was listening to it back. I'm like, God, we talked about ice cream for a long I'm time. Carl even cut some of it out. Oh, like, really? Really? I cut like a good like t- more twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah. Twenty yeah. minutes what out. What is wrong with okay. us? Jesus, we twenty were really minutes going is exaggerating, on. but like there was at least like 10, 15 minutes, like for sure. Well, that thank I cut you for out. sparing oh, them, Carly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> sorry, but not sorry at all, baby. <sighs> anyway, before we jump into things, how was y'all's weekends? It was fine. I set up some Christmas stuff. Oh, yeah. You're, you're hitting that? Hitting that. Mm-hmm. Of course. Well, I'm going to visit my family for Thanksgiving next week. So I was like, well, when I get back, I want it to be christmas fied in my house. Mm, Everything but my smart. tree. Because it's too early to get a real tree right now. It'll die. Yeah. Um. But yeah, everything's up. I got some garland to put around my fireplace or on my mantle, I mean. It's the coziest vibe. The coziest vibe. It's the coziest time of the year. Yeah, we started putting up some of it, but then I got all stressed out because I still have some cute like fall stuff, some pumpkins and acorns and shit, you know? You can mix them. Can you though? Sure. I don't know. Like, mm, should I keep the things? Because now I'm, I think I'm hosting Thanksgiving. It was supposed to be I at would my just, dad's. But I would just go right to Christmas for should Thanksgiving. I just give people that vibe. I early? would. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. But now I feel like a hypocrite because I was so judgmental about people with the pumpkin shed too early. And I don't know why that is. I think it's because okay. it's this it's summer's ending too soon when people start the the pumpkins 100%. in August. Correct. That's why it bothers me. I agree. But I don't when actually it comes care to what you do. Yeah, no. Well, the thing is is no, I don't I'm actually care. not a real winter kind of person. Um and so Christmas makes the whole turning dark at 5 p.m. less yes. miserable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and so mm-hmm. that's why I decorate Christmas as early as possible to try and really like you know, so- soak in as much Christmas as I can. And um, it's so much work because there's, I mean, depending on how depending on, hard you go. Right. But I like to go kind of hard. 
Like our villages. We both My are really into our villages. Really into the village. It takes like a good two hours to set up. Yeah. Um, and I, I want to enjoy, enjoy that it. for longer than, you know, 25 days. Exactly. It's not enough. Exactly. So but it's also a lot of work. And I have to think about everything now with a toddler. That's true. Which my life that has changed actually a lot. does complicate things quite a bit because now she's walking, so she could just pull things down. Yep, I realize How the Christmas gonna, tree. Yeah, I, was I don't know. Say. I don't know. You can get like a gate or something. I, but then well, I don't know. Climb she over can it. climb over a gate. She'll knock it down. I know. There's no stopping her now that she's walking. And you like want to be able to see it, so you don't want to have, you know, like yeah, stuff right. Running. I don't know. Or I just put all the. I mean, she's not strong enough to pull a tree down, right? And I'll. I don't supervisor so. near it. Yeah. I guess just don't put any of the ornaments like close to the bottom of the tree. Yeah. Or yeah. You can, like, or the breakable ones. I might least. have to get yeah. some like non break one. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I think most of mine are glass. Cloth. A lot of them are old Wait. family ones. Cloth ornaments. Yeah. yeah like little like, like stuffed oh, ones. Stuffed yeah, ones. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 Sorry. I don't. I usually don't uh, decorate for Christmas. So I'm a little lost when it comes to decorating for holidays. Do you just not like doing it? Um. Yeah. And like honestly growing up we just didn't really do it and so it's never really been a tradition for me mm-hmm. um and even like even like since i've lived um like away from home like i we never really we put up a tree a couple of times here and there but um last year i didn't put up a tree this year honestly like i kind of want to you should. um just to be in the holiday spirit i yeah. guess just kind of be like a little mini one too yeah that's true and i have yeah. a, i have a, like a small tree because i have a pretty small place anyway you know what i mean yeah, yeah. that's um, my issue too right now since we moved i really am trying to find a spot to put yeah. the tree and it's I might have the tape measure out. I'm like, we need to rearrange this whole living room. <laughs> yeah. Because you might have to. I don't know how, where we're going to put it. That's what we do, too. We kind of like move all the furniture and adjust. Yeah. Because yeah, there's not really a great place for the tree. So we have to make space. Yeah. 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 If you do decorate, will you do like random or like color ornaments or would you do like one And theme? that's the thing is like, I don't really have, I don't have the eye for decorating like that. Like I'm not. What? No. You? Yeah, yeah what are I don't you talking believe about, that. Corelli? You're like the most cr- uh, creative person there is. You're yeah, creative but Corelli. I don't creative. Really have Corelli. Yeah, thank you. I don't know. Like, I, I just. You could just go random. Then that's like a, a lot of people do that, too. Can I be honest? Yeah. Sure. I think Christmas decoration is ugly. <gasps> that's OK. It is oh. kind of tacky. Yeah. That makes me sad. <laughs> well, there's so that's an interesting point yeah. you make, though, because there's so many different vibes you can go with. Yeah, that's there true. There are some ugly vibes, I think. Yes. See, and I think that I would go with the convention unconventional like ugly vibe like i think i would kind of go like weird with it you know what i mean that's what i do weird with it i go pretty like colorful and yeah tacky and see i lean into that for the holidays which normally i like more neutral stuff Mm -hmm. i don't know i just don't have a i just also really don't like the holiday season i know like that makes me a little like okay i think a lot of people no i so get that i haven't liked the holidays the past couple years yeah it's it was hard with like divorced parents and stuff for a long time i just didn't like any of it yeah and like for us like we like growing up, like our Christmases were pretty separate. Like we would go to Mexico a lot for like a few weeks. And mm. um, usually my mom would stay here because she, you know, couldn't get off like two or three weeks of work. Um, and she'd go over there for, like, she'd go over there for like, a couple of days. So yeah, I'm like, now I'm like, we don't really, like, even now that we're adults, like we just don't really like, like we'll get together and like it is a family time. But I always feel like a little like isolated because of my, feelings towards the holiday season you know what i mean i think I a think lot of people can tons relate of to people that. will relate yeah. to that yeah. for yeah. sure definitely yeah but i mean here we are the holidays can bring up a lot of feelings and oh, emotions totally. and yes yeah it can be really it can be stressful time. it can't it can be really stressful trying to figure out like what to get people yeah and, you or know, scheduling and yes yeah, scheduling oh. family dynamics trying to see everybody it's hard yeah, i know it's hard so maybe i don't know we'll see what happens this year yeah if you feel up to it just yeah. do it yeah no, I kind of want, I, like I said, I kind of want to decorate this year and kind of like try the spirit. You know what I mean? Like I'll yeah. try on the spirit, see if try it hits me. <laughs> try it on. Why don't you try with a, a Christmas movie and then see if you feel motivated. Okay. Can I ask you guys, what is, what are your like Christmas movie recommendations? Except for the Grinch. I do love the Grinch and I do watch it every year. The Santa Claus. The Santa Claus is my it's favorite. so Christmas good. Movie. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? I don't, but I wait till December to watch that. Same. Okay. Yeah. That'll it. be on my list. I don't think I've ever watched that. It's really good. I think you'd like it. It's very cute. It's a uh, Tim Allen, right? Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Tim Allen. Yeah. So it's, it's a classic. It is. Also Home Alone. It's Four Christmases. Christmas is good. It's really Four good. Christmas Ooh, is one of my favorites. I, I, I watched actually that watched last that last year. I watched that this weekend. <laughs> Did you? Nice. Yeah, it's the best. Nice. I have to say that one for December too. I watch my least favorite ones first. Yeah. I have to say I'm not. I, it's not that I don't like Elf, but there's a lot better out there. I, I see, agree. I honestly, Elf kind of fucking annoys me. Like it's not that good. Yeah. Well, like I like the idea of it. Pretty but, controversial. 
Will Ferrell kind of fucking annoys me. Ooh, T. I don't know what it is, but like I like him at the same time. But That's, sometimes I get annoyed with him. The Holiday, love that movie. Such it? a cute movie. No, you Down Holiday. holiday. Yeah. Oh, oh, yes. So, oh we watched God. the classic so last night, Family Vacation. Oh, that's one of my favorites. We watched it every year as a kid. Holly was so into it. I was really surprised. She was like glued to the screen. <laughs> you just like Polar Express? I love, well, I hate Polar I Express. I love Polar Express, the book. I hate the movie. Okay. It's creepy yeah, and weird. Yeah, the book's cute. The movie is creepy. Yeah. Never watched that either. It's I do like Four fun. Christmases. Yes. Um. I see. I do like Elf, but that's just because like inside I always watch Elf. Yeah, I always watch it too, and that's like one of the only movies that I really watch during the Christmas. I just kind of get season. through it. I don't know. <laughs> Seriously, watch um the Santa Claus Curly. It's so yes. so good. Yeah. Do you recommend? Okay. Do you recommend putting on the movie while I'm decorating? Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 I can do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Maybe buy yourself a little peppermint bark. Ooh, okay. Ooh, you yes. can make a Christmas cocktail. Get yourself cocktail. a little hot chocolate with some Baileys in it. Ooh, yes. ooh. I might marshmallows invite... make it special. Yeah, ooh, yes. indulge yourself. You guys are getting me in the spirit. Um, I didn't also did not know that Home Alone was a Christmas movie. I always thought it was like a regular like, Home Alone. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Nope. Oh my gosh, you have. Oh, that's such yeah, a good movie. Mm -hmm. Those are great. Oh, you got to see it. And All Home Alone Two was really good too. Mm -hmm. The other ones get kind of fucking weird. After. Yeah, that's true. Okay, like, I, I don't, don't even think like I've seen the other ones. I was, but one I and two were great. I don't know why. Like I've always like correlated, and I, I I know it does. Like it makes no sense at all. Um, Home Alone to Air Buds. Like the dog movie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know. They give me the same kind of vibe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Isn't it just Air Bud, by the way? Oh, Air it might be Air Bud. <laughs> <laughs> it's AirPods, actually. <laughs> Air I think they I've have never a seen Air Bud. I need to watch it. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, um, yeah, they have Santa buddies. Funny. Curly, you know what you should do? This would be so up your alley to get you in the spirit. Make yourself one of those, like, simmer pots. <gasps> yes. Oh. With the cinnamon. Yes. You can, like... You know, get all your fun herbs and. Oh, wait, actually, I've been wanting to do that. Up. I want to do. OK, yes, I'm going to do that this weekend. I'm or maybe next weekend. It's too early to do it for me. So like I need to prepare myself. OK, I can't believe Thanksgiving is next week. Already? Yeah. That's yeah. insane. Next yeah, week. it's honestly crazy. I didn't even know till this morning. I looked at the calendar and was like, wow. I know. It's, okay. Damn, it I came up out, out of nowhere. It feels like. Mm hmm. It's Thanksgiving. I mean, where is time I feel going? like the week flies by every single free. I feel like I'm always recording the sesh. Like, I feel like we were recording the sesh literally yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, I know. Time's flying. It, but it was freaks me out ago. how fast. Like, the fact that we're already back to Christmas. I feel like Christmas Eve was two days ago. I know. I so agree. It's insane. It's crazy. Time be flying by. Okay. It does. When you're having fun. When you're mm -hmm. having a blast. It be mm -hmm. flying by. Um... All right, should we go ahead and get into our episode? Oh, yes. Wait, I want to update the I people. I like when we both have our arms like this. <laughs> Feels good. What'd you say, Carly? I want to update the people on my oh, cat. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes. Yes. So I I will insert a picture because I didn't last week. Here you go. But I ended up going with Ophelia. She's um, so cute. I love so her. Cute. I love her so much. And my cat and like Jasper and Ophelia are getting along so well. That's like so good. They're, they're great. They're they're not meant besties, to be. but they're meant to be. They will oh. be besties. If they're doing that great so far. Yes. It's like we'll they both better. sleep in the bed with me. Oh, that's oh, huge. huge. They yes. don't sleep together, but they sleep on that's the same bed with me. Very okay. good. They're going to be yeah. best friends inseparable. Yes. Soon. Also, I saw a lot of comments telling me, like, do not name her Lolita. Yes. Which I, that too. Yeah. <laughs> which I mean, I kind of like I kind of I know what the like I knew the history and like that's the, honestly the biggest reason why I went against it because like, I don't know. I also just like I for me it was more like because of Lana Del Rey. Yeah. And I think the, I, like, I think that the book is a the book. Yeah. So Lolita is a book and it's about, right. it's about this like pedophile who's okay. like, has like a, like he, I've heard of this yeah. loosely. Yeah. And he like, he is basically just a pedophile and like, he has like a, like he's in love with like this little girl, essentially like, oh, younger girl. Fuck. Um, Sick. And like he, like she's the Lolita, you know what I mean? Um, Which I appreciate people, you know, commenting like, you know, giving kind of the history of it on it. But yeah, I mean, that's the big, and I, I, I'm aware and that's why I didn't name her. Just, Ophelia. just a disclaimer. Ophelia. 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 So oh, Ophelia. I'm so happy for you. You've mm -hmm. been on my mind, girl, since the flood. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> girl, you always come in with the backup vocals when uh, you need them. Yeah, yeah, she does. I'm here when you need oh, me. Oh my God. Thank you for that. Uh, hype, girl. Sydney, anything going on in Sydney land? You know, <laughs> not, not too much in Sydney land, but... <laughs> We got together with some family last weekend, played some games. 
Mm. And then games. Yeah. I love a good game. What games? Heads up. It was great. Ooh. Heads up. Yeah. Oh, like heads, heads up seven up. No, like, or like the phone. Like, oh, that one. Yeah, of course. Games. Yes. The one we <laughs> played on this show up. several times. <laughs> we should yeah. play that again here. Yeah. Wow. I love that game. I love heads up. And they up. updated so the category, so it's like more finally, Ellen. Up. Remember we played Ellen that when we were for camping? Yeah. Oh yeah, we even did. More that was drunk. fun. It was really fun. Yeah, yeah. Just kind of took it easy, and I think so. I started the grab the bin with Christmas stuff, so it's like the bins are in the like guest room, haven't opened them yet. Okay. Yeah. So it's- that's the step I need to take. It's just getting the bins out <laughs> and <laughs> starting to look at them because I don't know where anything really boring. is. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. also, I was wondering. Okay, so when you decorate for Christmas, you usually you decorate for Halloween before, right? So is this why people usually like decorate right after Halloween is because like you already have all the bins out. So you just swap know. out your your Halloween things with your Christmas things and it's less of cleanup. I don't know. It's a good question. It could be part of it. But then you got to put it away at the end of the year. I think people are like, we're already, you know, so we're already decorating for one thing. Let's keep the good vibes going. Okay. Where you have spaces flowing. cleared for decorations. Yeah. So you just refill the spaces, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. it's, it's a free country. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> that is That's true. That's true. <laughs> Perks of living in America. You can decorate whenever you uh, want. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So we have a few topics, and we're also going to be playing a truth or dare game, which we're very excited about. I'm and even working very hard you on this. You two were in here giggling this morning when I was <laughs> making my celery sticks, and I heard, I'm nervous. I think you two are going to torture gonna us awesome. today. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. But before we do that, me, Carly, and Sydney actually have a little surprise for you, Kendall, that we were cooking up last week. A surprise? Yes. A surprise? We Did thought, I get it before? Yeah, yeah go okay. ahead and get it. We'll what? bring it on. And then we'll have a little moment here for it. Janelle and I are so excited that today we are sponsored by Uncommon Goods because it is truly one of our favorite favorite place to get gifts and things for ourselves yes. around the holiday season. We've both been using it for years mm-hmm. and love it. I was so excited when I saw them on our list. They have the most unique things. If you yes. have a person in your life and you're like, I don't know what to get them. I never know what to get them. Go to Uncommon Goods yes. because they have something for everyone, even the person that is the hardest to shop for. And things that you would never think to get somebody because they're all just so unique and yes, uncommon. Unique. I have gotten so many gifts on Uncommon Goods and I just like to shop on there for myself throughout the year too because mm-hmm. it's just awesome. And what's so cool about Uncommon Goods is that you're actually supporting artists and small independent businesses. These products are often made in small batches, so shop now before they sell out this holiday season. And they do sell out, so they do take that seriously. They've got stuff from fine art and jewelry to kitchen, home and bar. I mean, they seriously have something for everyone. Even things for kids. I've gotten, last year I got Holly a custom book with her name in it. And I got some other kids in our life that too. Yeah, they have a lot of gifts that you can customize and personalize, which is really cool as well. I have a lot of men in my life that love bourbon and whiskey related things. They have tons of really cool accessories um, for your cocktail lover that you know. Uh, I'm telling you, they really have something for everyone. And what's really cool is that they actually give back $1 to a nonprofit partner of your choice. They've donated more than two and a half million dollars to date. And the holidays are creeping up, folks. So get on it now. You can get 15% off your next gift just by going to uncommongoods.com slash sesh. That's uncommongoods.com slash sesh for 15% off. Don't miss out on this limited time offer, Uncommon Goods. We are all out of the ordinary. Okay, so we have been talking last week about a butter candle. Oh my God. So we decided we needed to make this come to life. And <laughs> you people just really know my heart. I have never been more proud of this show. I know. Isn't it beautiful? This is amazing. It's a good surprise. Dude, amazing surprise. Thank you. It's, it's filled with all kinds of herbs. We're very, very proud of it. Where's Crelly? Did she leave? Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, we made a video to show you behind the scenes. <laughs> a little behind the scenes at the candle, okay? <laughs> we figured that you guys would enjoy this. And also, Crelly and Sydney have a little mini one over on there. Oh, and we have soup. I forgot about this. Tomato Ooh. bisque. Holy shit, this is the best day ever, you guys. This is our little bread bowl. Isn't there so oh, oh little mini God, one? adorable. <laughs> Bon appetit. Yes. This is the best day of my life. Woo. Thank you, guys. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and play our little behind the scenes video here. Dinner Bell with Janelle. It comes to life. Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Dinner Bell with Janelle. If you know, you know. Today we are going to be making a butter candle because last week on the set we talked about it and What's we thought, you know what? Lagging we should right. surprise our dear sweet candle with a butter Thank candle. You. I'm going to teach you how to make it. These are the ingredients that you're going to need. Now, disclaimer, <laughs> so much butter. we have never done this before, so it fails. Don't blame it's us. It's Sydney and Carly's fault. Oh, yep. it is our fault. <laughs> so you're going to need butter. We have, is this salted or yep, unsalted? Yep, it's salted. Okay. Oh, wait, it's lagging. Yeah, and then we have herbs. Now you can use whatever herbs you want. We have rosemary, chives, dill, and thyme. Not to use thyme. We also have garlic and pepper flakes. Um, oh, so I was wondering why there was a garlic here. here. That's why. That. First, though, you must prepare your garlic by peeling it. Okay. We don't. That's have really a, good for the knife. Uh, <laughs> an oven. An oven or a stove. Or a stove. But we do have a little mini. What those fucking conventional things? oven? Uh, no. Toaster. Toaster. Toaster oven. This is so hard to do on a, on a cutting board. Yeah. No, we, we're and not also really sitting down. Yeah, like, we're not really. Cool. Cool. I ordered one today. Okay. So now that your garlic is nice and minced, put that off to the side, and now you need to prepare. Oh, the herbs. Can I get a paper towel, please, sous chefs? Yes, but also, um, are we not gonna roast the garlic? Oh right, we have to. Prepare. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, yes, please explain this. I was just gonna microwave it because I'm lazy and don't care enough, but Corelli is demanding that we roast it in our. Your chef. Makeshift pan. <laughs> that your she chef. created. Thank you, Corelli. Mm -hmm. You can use your spoon if you'd like. We don't have any um, oil, so we're just gonna put a tiny bit of butter on there. And then we're going to put it in our hand. I don't know what's lagging so butter. bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I almost too big. lit a bagel on fire earlier this week because I literally forgot about it and was just sitting in my desk typing away and I was like, <laughs> look at that smells toaster. like fire. <laughs> Turn them. I thought yeah. our toaster's yeah. been through some shit. Yeah, look at the dog. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> the cream cheese or paint? Go. I don't know. I think it's paint. I think it's melted plastic. No, yeah. we'll just, yeah. Don't forget about it. Like, okay. Rosemary. Mmm. This was a Christmas. So we had some rosemary and now we're going to get some chives. Mm -hmm. Christmas song. Love that. Mine? Yeah. I'm right. Don't, oh, I forgot you hate Christmas Don't, music. Oh, I forgot you hate Christmas music. That is so okay, sad. Everyone Colin. has to sing the first part of their song. My favorite song is Oh Holy Night. Oh Holy Night. I know you'd like that. The stars are You sing that to Holly every night. Oh, Holly Night. This is Holly. hard. This knife sucks. I can't believe you're cutting on blades like, like a butcher knife, pretty much. <laughs> With the jankiest tools. Now we're gonna use some dill. I freaking love dill, man. Oh, I don't like chives. I like you chives. Like, oh, yeah, because you don't like onions. I don't like onions. Oh, uh, melty. You, really you don't like onions. I know. <laughs> so Chrissy. So, crazy, crazy girl. So Currently, so I'm breathing so in this so way. So yeah, I know, I'm like, oh. You're different. I'm different. <laughs> I'm gonna hear something really cringe. I'm about to expose myself. Back in the day, yeah. on Facebook. <laughs> Mm. My, about, you know how you had like the about me or whatever. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> no, mine said. Oh no, yeah, it did. Thought yeah. I like Ugh. really did something with that. I was yeah, like, oh. all the boys would be like, oh my god, she's, she's not like other girls. She's, she's, she's different. different. It's serious said I'm different. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. I hate myself so much. <laughs> is, that, is that what you were like referencing? No, reference like I'm not like other girls. Yeah, like, I'm a catch. <laughs> I have a question. I, I want to ask you, chef. Oh if my god. If you change sex for one day, what would you do? This is so rich. You know what I would do, Sydney. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would you do? Walk around at night <laughs> with headphones on. <laughs> Alone oh. with my penis <laughs> out. <laughs> no, but I'd definitely Would you like What would you do? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking about that earlier. This dinner though. <laughs> oh Emily <laughs> made it and I forgot this Emily. Is totally we love her. This is Cody, he's a star. He's we a bigger him. star. He's a big star. Okay, it literally smells amazing. We're surprising Kendall with a butter candle on Monday. Mm -hmm. okay, we're gonna eat we're working bread. so hard. I <laughs> almost cut Romance is not dead. Okay, so we melted the butter. Emily works on my show. And now way. too much on accident though. But I think it'll be okay. Now that your butter is softened, softened, you're gonna go ahead and take your garlic, put her in, and then 
Go ahead and take mm. your herbs of choice. Don't forget the crushed red pepper. Now, we don't want it too <laughs> spicy, right? No, just a, just a little bit. I just want to eat, you can just eat that butter. That'd be so good on pasta. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Love. That's so gross. Long heads before you start making it. Long heads, isn't that so good? No, this this does not look that good. Were you guys like stoned? No, no. I wish not at all. Your commentary was so funny during the Ooh, butter ASMR. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 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 And then you're. You want to taste it? No, no. Thank you. you said you wanted to we try it. it. And then I Needs think to you start to like okay. mold it. Mold it. Yeah. Place your wick. This is a beeswax wick, by the way, which we're not saying is great, but I think it's better than. It's more edible. I think it's yeah. I think it's safer than like a. It's all natural. Yeah. Okay, guys. I think we should just. Yeah, just make it look a little nicer, you know. Now you're just gonna take your butter and probably we're gonna try and find something to sit it up in so it doesn't lose shape. And then we'll put it in the fridge over the weekend. And then on Monday we'll come and try it out. <laughs> That's it. And I here we are. I love that you guys, how fun. It really worked, we're shocked. But yeah. it looks amazing. Okay, um, I wanna test really it? wanna test it. It's not super okay. melty yet, but. Oh, it's pretty melty. Is it enough? Yeah. Okay. Bread. Mmm. Oh, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Damn, that's pretty damn good. Oh, you guys. That is pretty, pretty good. Really? You went all out. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. It's amazing. I think this should be like a oh, new tradition, like so every Thanksgiving yes. or Christmas. This mm -hmm. is like an amazing hack. I think I might do this for my Thanksgiving dinner wow. next week. The okay. fire gives like a little sense of like, cr I don't know, crispy smoky flavor yes, i don't know yeah you can that's exactly what i got from it this is incredible mm. thank you guys you guys so should much. make this at your house send us pictures if you do the holidays are always one of my favorite times of the year but all the christmas shopping i have to do for my giant family is somewhat of a daunting task not gonna lie that's why i was so excited when skims announced its biggest holiday gift shop ever you will find the perfect present for everyone on your list in the Skims Holiday Gift Shop. Sisters, moms, dads, boyfriends, best friends, even pets. These collections have been designed for the whole family and Skims is creating the next generation of underwear, loungewear, and shapewear. I don't know about you guys, but I always save wrapping gifts to the very last minute. I feel like I'm doing it on Christmas Eve or the day before and it gets a little stressful, but with the Skims Holiday Shop, their best-selling holiday collections come wrapped and ready to go in pre-packaged Skims holiday boxes. So they really take the stress out of wrapping and also they make great stocking stuffers. I recently got the lounge sleep set. And oh my God, this is the most comfortable pair of pajamas I have ever had. They are so soft, so lightweight, but also very warm at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what material they're made out of, but it is like magic. I am obsessed with these pajamas. Every single day when I get home from work, I rip off my clothes and put these on. I cannot get enough of them. I also was able to try their cotton jersey scoop bralette and their dip thong packs. And again, so comfortable and they wash really well. And now your favorite skim staples like the Fits Everybody, Cotton, Soft Lounge, and Sleep are now available in cheerful colors and festive prints. Plus, Skim's signature holiday collections are back for the season and designed for the whole family. I guarantee you, you guys, you've never been this cozy at home for the holidays, and all of their collections are available in sizes XXS to 4X for women and unisex styles and start at newborn sizing for children's styles. Skim's makes holiday shopping so easy with styles for everyone in the family. Skim's Holiday Gift Shop is the destination for all your gifting needs. Leave the hype, Skims has over 100,000 five-star reviews for a reason. Skims Holiday Gift Shop is now open at skims.com. Plus, get free shipping on orders over $75. And after you place your order, be sure to let them know we sent you. Select podcast in the survey and be sure to select our show in the drop-down menu that follows. Well, Janelle, shall we get into our spicy topic of the day? Yes, let's get into it. Spicy. This is very interesting. This is crazy, you know? People will be wild. Now. People will be very creative. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will give that to them. They are. This is a creative endeavor. So this woman, her name is Caitlin. She goes by Amaranth. Amaranth. I've on heard Twitch. of her. Oh, really? 
She's a big Twitch streamer, I think. I've oh, never, mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know what she looks like, but I have heard of her. She's also on OnlyFans. She is creating a special one of a kind beer with a extra special ingredient. Can any of you guess what that might be? Probably not, honestly. I'll just tell you. It's her <laughs> vaginal yeast. <laughs> so she's actually collaborating with a uh, Polish beer company, The Order of Yonis, and they're a brewing company that promotes a sensual drinking experience. So each drink consists of lactic acid from vaginal bacteria called lactobacillus. Mm. Very scientific. Lactobacillus. <laughs> lactobacillus. Now, according to the website, after they've carefully selected the woman um, whose essence they want to capture, they actually have a gynecologist on, on staff here who will collect a vaginal smear that's then taken to a lab where bacteria is isolated, cleaned, then analyzed, and multiplied. And the end result is the bacteria used to produce the pure lactic acid that goes into the beer. Interesting. You know, very... Um, Innovative? Innovative, yes. That's the word. Yes, thank you, Kelly. <laughs> Very I can't innovative. decide if I love this or hate this. Okay. I think it's kind of cool, but I, I don't know. I think it would bother me to drink a beer knowing yeah. someone's vagina was involved with the process. But I do think it's cool that beer can be made out of can vaginal yeast. Bread. Like, that's kind of, I oh. mean, women are just incredible. You did, can do anything. Did we yeah. tell you um, how this bread was made? <laughs> because I have your yeast Corelli. Yeah, no, so um, Is this we. Corelli bread? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we actually combined all of our womanly essence. It's quite delicious, I will say. Yeah. Excellent job. Excellent job. Yeah, yeah, we taste great. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, as of right now, they have three different brews the Patricia beer, AKA Bottled Beauty, which is a wheat ale brewed with champagne yeast and an arc for the essence of Patricia. Uh, which together with coriander and orange peel is a real feast for the palate, they say. Beer in the style of wit beer, de champagne, the Monica beer, aka the bottle desire, a pale champagne. Okay. It's basically the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> and the Paulina beer. Very interesting. interesting. Okay. Some okay. have bitter orange peel and coriander. So are the is the yeast that they have collected from Patricia, Monica, and Paulina? Must be, right? Um, I don't know exactly who's involved with the um, uh, yeast. I don't know if that's like all of their, their names. I'm assuming it is. So these three beers mm-hmm. are the models. So okay. that's the models' names. Okay. Um, and I think... Who's I don't Caitlin, though? But so where's Caitlin's beer, I wonder? That's in the works. Amaranth? Oh, it, oh okay. So they already yeah. have these. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, so okay. Amaranth, now I know where I know her from. She sold her farts in a jar. I yes. remember that. $1,000 a jar. And she also sold her bathwater. Yes. And then she also okay. sold this is how I know her. something else. She sleep streamed. And made like a shit ton of That's money. That's insane. <laughs> Almost $10,000 in just a few hours sleeping so, on a stream. Wow. <laughs> so crazy. She sold her hot tub water for $50 a pop, but currently it's sold out. What do you do with that? Um, Don't I drink think, it. Yeah, I think that's up for the consumer. Well, people are going to go crazy for the vagina beer, I think. In order to um, have the company like Get your ingredient. You kind of have your to. Your ingredient. <laughs> ingredient for amaranth. <laughs> yeah, ingredient for amaranth. <laughs> kind of have to give yourself a pap smear, essentially. Would you try it? Do you think she just sends it in or does she go in and get the smear at the lab? Um, no, I think she does her own pap smear and then I'm assuming sends in the juice sample. Yeah. I wouldn't try it. Because I don't know. I don't know if I'd get past the idea that it came from someone's vagina, but I do think it's cool. Would you have your, um, would you have your own beer? Would you try your own? I would try my own. I don't, I don't think I would go and sell my own. Would you try beer. ours? One of our three? <laughs> yeah. I trust you guys enough. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. So yeah, I was that would be like a good gift. I know where you've been. I think it'd be a good gift, you know? What if instead yeah. of someone doing those like sexy photos for your wedding? <laughs> oh, yes. Get your Something husband bizarre. some, Honestly, you know, of your own beer. I totally agree, Sydney. I think do you a think lot of guys would be, be into, into that? that? Probably. I think John would be a little like, huh. Yeah. I think Josh <laughs> would have a huh moment, but I feel like he'd maybe think but it's maybe. Cool. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, obviously, like people get like aroused by this. Like it's definitely a sexual thing. Yeah. Their website's actually pretty cool. 
but it talks about how they've been kind of doing something similar to this for thousands of years. I honestly um, believe that. It's like goes back to like um, you know, goddesses and like Right. Yeah. 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 Well, the women's I mean, the woman's cool. body, especially in, you know, before the current times was always thought of as very like a temple in a way and yeah. was very Magical. well respected. Yeah. Mm, because it is. So, yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of cool. I think Science it's cool. meets sexuality. Kind of want to buy some. The thing is, though, I couldn't figure out how, like, how you order it, like, how you get it, because, like, on their website, since it's a, it's a Polish um, company, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, 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 wow. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> those are the girls. <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> I know that was gonna make a noise. Curly, is this is researching for this how you accidentally ended up on a porn site this <laughs> yes. week? Yes, and I think I got myself. I think I gave my computer yeah, a virus. She literally so I tried to fix it for this one. <laughs> yeah, because what were you doing again? How did you get to the porn site? Okay, so I was like, I was filtering through the um through the uh like the results to see if there's any updates. Um, and it seemed like this website was a credible website. I clicked it, and it was porn. Porn. Mm -hmm. It was Hell, porn. Yeah. Were you Love here that. when you did that? Yes. And then I went <laughs> into came, show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> came into my office. She's like, I accidentally looked up porn. <laughs> I don't know. Because I don't know if it like tells you guys like no, what no, websites no. we're on. And like, no, we don't track. <laughs> even, you could look at porn if you want. You're well, giving me permission? Shut the door. Shut the door before you do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> we'll put in put slack. Do not disturb porning right now. <laughs> porning right now. <laughs> but, yeah. Amazing. You know what? I think this would be a really great gift for your uh, grandma or grandpa. <laughs> can you imagine their faces Don't tell them. explaining this to them like, like i yeah. made it for you myself. <laughs> like oh like a you know in your kitchen like mm -hmm, partially <laughs> they should that's what they should turn this into more of a service where you can send in your own and make your own that's what specimen. i was thinking or do they too. already offer that no they they hand select they're probably pretty complicated to be doing custom yeah. orders yeah and also like how do you know i would assume that some people may have yeast that shouldn't be consumed i don't know if a yeast infection means that it's bad yeast or just too much i don't i, I don't know. know i don't know shit about yeast infections sorry <laughs> i just know you got to take some medicine <laughs> yes you do <laughs> medicine <laughs> so yeah interesting i i kind of like it would you drink it i don't know i guess so i mean hell I drink dairy products and that comes out of cows right. boobies. Yeah. You know, it's not like it's filled with it. So would you, you know, um, right? Like made from it from the start. Right. Are, are you going to make the switch to breast milk? Huh? <laughs> Instead of cow's milk? Are you oh, going to make the switch only, to? Yes, I will be consuming breast milk from now on. Perfect. Good luck with that. Donor milk is so expensive. <laughs> I wonder if anyone own? does that. Try to make my own. I don't think that would work. Uh -huh. Don't you have to get pregnant first? I think so. Yeah, yeah. that's not something I'm trying to do right now. <laughs> I heard, oh. um, well, after re reading about this, that the, uh, the you know, there's yeast makes it a little more creamy. Oh, is that right? I heard about that Ew, too. Why does that really bother me? <laughs> I thought you'd like that. It's kind of sick. Well, let us know below if you would try it. I'm yeah. curious your thoughts. I want to hear your thoughts on this. But she's getting, she's getting her bag. Oh, totally. She's going to She's gonna make a ton off this. I wonder how much I'm going to sell it for. I would sell mine. If someone comes to me and is like, you want to sell your yeast? I'd be like, fuck yeah, let's go. Why not? I do kind of want to taste my own. I would definitely taste this. Like, I do want to know what it... Would you try your own or other people's? Probably both. I'd compare. Ew, what if one was like nasty, like sour, gross? And Ew! <laughs> like, oh, we didn't process that one fully. Sorry. Ew. So what we should do, what we should do is we should all four of us make our own beer and then it, we'll have a taste test. <laughs> we guess who's A blind taste who's. test. <laughs> that would it tastes be fun. like Janelle. Next, <laughs> dinner bell with Janelle. You guys make beers. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. And we will film it for you guys. Amazing. We'll do each other's oh, pap smears. <laughs> we'll film the pap smears too. And Very that'll good. go on the Sesh's OnlyFan. Yeah, go to onlyfan.com slash the sesh. That's right, the baby. Podcast. You guys don't get that for free. Okay. Maybe we should create our own OnlyFans. I feel like you would not be into that. No, I would not. You're pure. You're you guys a, can you're do a little it, though, and I'll support you. Okay. Me and Janelle, on the other hand, we're a bunch of whores. Yeah. <laughs> High five, Carly. High five. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not a whore. I'm just mm. a private whore. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Sydney is also the same way. Yeah. Yeah. We can be freaky. We just keep to mysterious. Ourselves. Can you though? I've never heard you either of you do anything freaky in your lives. Oh, bitch. Shh. 
if you only knew what I do. Actually, oh. I do know the freakiest thing you do, and I'm not going to say it. I actually think Ken and I are the most freaky, but we're mysterious about it. Yeah. You are not freaky. Right. Oh. We are freaky. Yes, we are. You, you like, want to know I'm not, but I really am. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you would have told me the freaky things. No, I, don't, I keep it to myself. I've seen her in her freak mode. It's freaky. Yeah. Freaky Friday. Well, well that's not fair. Why haven't I seen you in your freak mode? <laughs> I don't know. You got to get it right. The other day you in the came morning. in with a sweatshirt that had a cactus slipping someone off and you acted like it was like the end of the world. red eagle on your t-shirt. <laughs> that doesn't mean she's not freaky, though. She's polite and freaky. <laughs> freaky. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right that's fair have you ever been on the hunt for a new doctor and you ask literally everyone you know for a recommendation you know a doctor that actually gets you listens to you and makes you feel super comfortable and finally after weeks of searching you find the one so you call their office make an appointment and guess what they're available perfect but of course they don't take your insurance well, wipe your tears away and head over to ZocDoc to find and book the doctor who is right for you and takes your insurance. ZocDoc is a free app where you can find amazing doctors and book appointments online. We're talking about booking appointments with thousands of top-rated patient-reviewed doctors and specialists. You can filter specifically for ones who take your insurance, are located near you, and treat almost any condition you're searching for. And these docs all have verified reviews from actual real patients, not bots. And the average wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is between just 24 and 48 hours. That's it. You can even score same day appointments. Recently, I was looking for a doctor, a PCP, because I don't have one, and I was able to find one and get in the next day for an appointment. It was so convenient. I loved my doctor. It was great to be able to read reviews. Uh, have peace of mind that they take my insurance. And again, the scheduling was really easy. Once you find a doctor you want, you can book them immediately with just a few taps. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. So go to ZocDoc.com slash sesh and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top rated doctor today. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash sesh. ZocDoc.com slash sesh. You know what's freaky? This fucking dude at McDonald's. This is absolutely insane. Let's jump into CSI. So over the years here in the sesh, we've talked about a lot of people who absolutely lose their ever loving shit at fast, fast food. food. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but this guy goes absolutely insane at McDonald's drive through in White Marsh, Maryland, and it's all caught on video. This happened on October 8th. Um, White Marsh police officers were called to the McDonald's for destruction of property, which you will see. That's an understatement. The McDonald's employees told officers that a random man came up to the drive through window. He slid the window open himself and started yelling, throwing cups from the drink dispenser and was grabbing anything he could reach. And it's hard to make out exactly what he's saying, but from from what it looks like. This dude just really wants some Mickey D's. Erratic customer at a McDonald's in White Marsh, Maryland. You too, man. You too, man. People are out of control these days. I know. Like, how do you get to this point you're you're right right where you're wrecking a McDonald's through the drive through window? Give me some food! Give me some food! Man's hangry. He has to be intoxicated, right? Mm, not necessarily. I can't imagine acting like this sober. I would be so scared, dude, if I was one of these employees. I know. Damn. He's like, give me both bags. It's like he's robbing them of yes. food. Yes. Damn, hope your McDouble's worth it, homie. What a fucking idiot. It's terrible. Served at the side of racism. What what did he say that was racist? I didn't hear that. He said something about like uh something about being black and white, like fuck you, bitch, or something like that. Oh my god. Fucking freak. So Thankfully, because in the last couple of days, we weren't sure if they found this guy, but his identity has been confirmed and charges have been filed. But it's not clear what the charges are at this point. Dude. Maybe by that time the episode goes up, but he pff, they better go down hard on this. Seriously. What an idiot. 
It's terrible. Would you guys give them the food? <clears throat> like, there's yeah. some Dude, comments I would that were like, give them anything. Totally. Yeah. I mean, no, I agree, but I just was thinking some comments are saying they're shocked that they gave him. They actually gave him the food. I'm like, because they're scared. No. Yeah. What if he were to like pull out a gun? That's what Who I'm knows? Saying. You don't know. We this live in America. America, and he wasn't gonna stop either. Like he would. No. He, no. He would have easily climbed yeah, in there. Yeah. What if you told him no? He could have. Yeah. He could have climbed in. Yeah. And started like physically assaulting people yep. or worse. I wonder yep. if that was his car at the drive-thru window. I'm curious about that too because I don't know. Well, I don't think told it, us. It, it, what, it, I was asking because it looked like he had. I thought. Obviously, we know I am not a car expert by any means, but I do know that yellow is Ferrari and his car seat covers has... What do you mean yellow, yellow. is Ferrari? I thought that's... Like the interior? Yeah, that's what I thought. No? No, not always. I mean, I'm sure there are some that have yellow interior, but you can have yellow interior in any car. Maybe that's he true. just put the like, car seat covers. In. No, this car is way too high up. You can tell the the window of the car goes right up to the window of the... And it's not even through. confirmed mm. he was in the car. I It kind of looks like it wasn't his car. Yeah. But then it doesn't look like anyone's in the car. Yeah, so maybe it was some, his car. Maybe someone got out of the way because he's... But that's kind of... That's weird to me. I'm like, if it wasn't your... If it if it wasn't your car and it was somebody else's car, like, I would have dipped out if that, someone was doing that. Yeah, that's true. Right next so to maybe me. it was his car then. Why did you get out? Oh, yeah. God, these people are fucking crazy, man. I know. That's so scary. And I wonder what happened. Like, I wonder what happened before this, like, that made yeah. him... Right. This fucking erotic Did they get the order story. wrong? Yeah. Or did they just like not give Take him his too food? long? Or like, was he was he actually like like thieving them? Dude, if you're doing this type of shit, you need serious help. You need to reevaluate your entire life. Hope he gets charged. I do too. It's just Ooh. wild how many, like how often this happens. I feel like at he least was once charged, a month. Just to clarify. Yeah, yeah. but we don't know with what. <clears throat> right. Right. We I don't know. He was charged with something like mm -hmm. that can intense. Have, have severe consequences. Yeah, it's just crazy because this stuff happens. I feel like at least once a month we're covering some crazy ass oh, at person least. on it's once a week, dude. No, it's honestly true. Like almost every single week, we're multiple people a week. There's people that we find and we're like, okay, and we don't even end up covering them for whatever reason. There's just so many out there; mm -hmm. it's absurd. Mm -hmm. Stupid people. I just feel so bad crazy. for these employees. They are not being paid enough to deal with this type of bullshit from. No unhinged people it's horrible i'd be so scared to go back to work because so like, scared what if just wrong you're serving the window and yeah. it's someone's bad day and for some yep. reason like like the one where um recently someone was like the person was shot yeah yes like over something so minor i know, I know. it's absurd my friend from college worked at a mcdonald's and one time she was working the cash register and someone came up to her i don't know why they were mad and literally took the um, cup of coke and popped the top off and just dumped the whole thing on her head jesus god that is so insane i was gonna say honestly um when i worked at sonic in high school that was some of the worst i was ever treated like mm. by people like people really? really treated you like they human do. garbage it's horrible yeah i remember one time i'm not sure if i've told the story before but um i was taking a drink you know how sonic has like the really extra large drinks yeah um, I was taking this man his drink and he was on he was like carpool or not carpooling but car um what is it? Parked. Parked, yeah. He was like on the side. Oh, doing like the drive up. The thing? Dri yeah, but it wasn't drive through, it was just like the drive up thing. Yeah. And um I have really I have really small hands. Like I always have had really small hands. And I was also like, this is literally like 16, 17 year old me. I'm carrying this big ass tray with like one drink, right? And I go to like hand it to him, but he grabs it out of like he grabs it over my hand kind of like on top of it. And he squeezes it mm. and the entire like cup combusts Ooh. and it oh spills God. all over his, his, his car too, which combust I felt so is bad. not the right word though. Combust. Uh, Explodes. Like, <laughs> Explodes. Yeah. Well, combust is kind of exploding. Combust usually is when it's like on fire, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, well, it, he grabbed it and it, he squeezed it and it, the cup fell through. You know what I mean? Let me guess. He got mad at you for oh, it. Oh, he got so mad. He's like, let me talk to your he manager. Did. He's like, these are my brand new leather, my brand new leather shoes. And I'm like, I am so like, oh, I was about to up. cry. I was like, I'm so, so, so sorry. But like, he grabbed the cup and like, he was like, he called me stupid. He <sighs> said, he's like, God. he's like, you shouldn't be working here. Dude, people need yeah. to fucking get a grip. Yeah. yeah. My yeah. God. Just like treat your, treat your, um, your fast food workers, treat your servers, Treat people with respect, point yeah, blank, just period. All, in general, especially in like young people, obviously yeah. like of any age, but it just pisses me off when there's like teens. You can tell this is their first job and they don't have a lot of like confidence because they're teens. At least that was how I was. So when an adult like yells at you, you freak out and yeah. don't even know how to handle it. Like so scary. We'll see what happens to this dude though.
Hope he goes to jail. Probably won't. This may not even, well, okay, this is a little bit different, but Carly, you kind of remind me, uh, your story reminded me of, and this is kind of maybe my fault or bad, but I used to um, bus tables. Yeah. So I like take the water. And one time, it was just so bad and I never said anything. The water tipped over and poured into the lady's purse. But she was like, turn this way because it was like at the sushi bar. And I was like, oh, shit. Like a lot of water. Did you say anything? No. <laughs> I just was like. You just like walked away? Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Did she say anything to you? No, I mean, she wasn't going to know until she put her hand in her purse. Oh, my Honestly, God. Honestly, the funniest shit. <laughs> I mean, it was like, I grabbed the water. I picked it. It wasn't like a, a whole, you know, container, but yeah. solid. It splashed. It was like in her face. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. You guys, I can't believe it. It is already the holiday season. It is time to get all of your holiday gifts, all of your holiday shopping done. And if you have kids in your life, might I suggest... KiwiCo this year for a holiday gift because giving a child something that is going to inspire them to learn about a new topic they love or really feeds into their interests makes the gift so much more unique and special. As you guys know, we love KiwiCo in our house. Some of our favorite toys are from KiwiCo. They're the best quality. I love, love, love their wooden toys for babies and toddlers. They're just amazing. Holly loves everything that we have gotten from KiwiCo. I've also given some of the older kids in my life the KiwiCo boxes and they've absolutely loved them. And I'm really looking forward to Holly growing with KiwiCo because there's really something for kids of all ages from infants to preschools, teens and beyond. Kids can discover everything from the science of magic to engineering a domino machine and more. There's no commitment. You can pause and cancel at any time, which is awesome. You can give your child the tools to learn a new skill, build new experiences, and make new connections in the broader world. KiwiCo projects are designed by a team of educators, makers, engineers, and rocket scientists who brainstormed hundreds of ideas to create the most exciting age-appropriate educational projects. These are real engineering, science, and art projects with high-quality materials. And KiwiCo crates are fun, they're stress-free, so you can enjoy quality time with your kids tackling projects together. And I absolutely love this. Everything that KiwiCo puts out is tested and approved by kids. No crate leaves without approval from their toughest critics, which are kids. So discover hands-on fun with KiwiCo. Get your first month free on any crate line at kiwico.com slash sesh. That's your first month free at KiwiCo spelled K-I-W-I-C-O dot com slash sesh. All so, right. You ready to truth and dare it up? I am ready for this. I'm a little nervy. Me too. I'm scared. It's okay. It's been... I saw you guys have waxing stuff. <laughs> yeah, yes. I saw a wax kit. Uh -huh. We're going to we... be giving each other Brazilians. <laughs> well, I do have a Brazilian scheduled for today. So I, I have can one on Saturday, that. so I can cancel mine. Perfect. All right. Excellent. Let's dive in. You guys want to explain a little bit how this will work? Yes. So. Each round, Corelli is going to flip a coin, and that's going to decide who has to spin the dare wheel or pick a truth. So the little pieces of paper on the table are the dares that correlate with numbers to the wheel. I love this wheel. How fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. And um, if you, what do we say? Oh, tails. Then you have to pick a truth, or if you decide you don't want to do a truth, you can do a dare. So Kendall is up first. You got a... Tables. Oh, truth. What gives you the ick about your partner? <laughs> hmm. Like a real ick. I don't want to bash on Josh, though. You Maybe can do, I a should dare. do a dare. There are plenty of things that give me, gives me the ick. I told you guys about the sneezing thing. So you all already know that. But like, what's like an ick that like he would be upset if you told? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Expose you know what? him. I'm going to protect him and choose a dare. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and spin all your right, wheel. So spin your wheel. Give it like a good spin, okay. bro. There you go. There we go. Two. Take a pickle shot. Ooh, sure. Yum. I would love a pickle shot. These are called... Oh, so we have a spicy pickle shot. These are from Dirty Dill. Dirty Dill. Or a pickled pepper shot. I would What's the, the difference? <laughs> well, yeah, one's, a, what? one's a pepper shot, and then one's a pickle shot. Oh, oh. I see. A pickled pickle. pepper. Do you guys like pickled onions? No. Mm, love pickled onions. I'm going to chase this with my soup. Nice. Ooh, yum. Oh, my God. The fact that you do that with your teeth is I know. Scary. I really shouldn't do that. Girl, you have too nice of teeth to do that. I have my soup handy. Mm. Hey, that's kind of... You want to okay. smell it? It's 
very vinegary. Ew, it smells disgusting. All right. Here goes nothing. Ew, I can't believe you're chasing the soup. <laughs> oh, thank God for the soup. Wow. What does it taste like? That was impressive. It's pretty spicy. You're going to get drunk, I feel it's like. It's pretty spicy. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Never drink. Um, yeah. I actually kind of like the aftertaste with the soup. It's pretty good. Really? Yeah. It's not bad. Dirty dill. Sydney, where did you find these? Just at a liquor store. Oh, I yeah. I saw them being like on the counter. All right. Sweet. They're not bad. Okay. Good Ooh, job. Now I'm having fun. My, my turn. Tails. Tails. Okay. Truth. Okay, what is the least amount of money that would have to be buried in a porta potty for you to dig it up? <laughs> the least amount for me to do it? Probably a thousand dollars. You're sick. <laughs> what? You would only grand you dig through a pile of shit. Well, like how much? A full porta potty. I a don't know. A full porta potty? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's so sick. <laughs> okay, $5,000. I would yeah, do it 5, for five thousand. Absolutely, I would do it for five thousand dollars. Hell yeah! Ew, but I can't even think about that. Oh yeah, Ugh, I would definitely do it. Would, would you go like full scuba? What do you suit? mean? Like, would you put on like a full like hazmat suit and like if I could, yeah, you yeah. should dive I into would, the fucking. No, I would. I'm not gonna dive hands. into it. <laughs> bare hands and get diseases in your in there. nails. Ew. Ugh. Yeah, Ew. I would cut my nails really short. Have you guys ever seen that company? Honey Bucket. They're a porta potty company called Honey Bucket. Yes, yes, yes. And every time I see their little trucks rolling around, I've never even heard of that. Ugh, the worst are name of it, disgusting. Honey Bucket. Like, think of it. Ugh, it's so disgusting. Well, honestly, like the part about porta potties I hate the most is the fact that it, like, just uh, the sound of the piss going in and it's like going way yes, in there yes. i just can't stand that i hate the bugs there's the always bugs, bugs in there driving crazy and also the little urinals they have for guys oh, on the I side hate that. really yeah, bothers those. me like so oh, gross. what is literally the difference you're whipping your wiener <laughs> out to go into a hole anyways why do you need a fucking <laughs> they're urinal? trying to be fancy with it well also what i hate about the um the urinals is that like usually they're really close to the to the seat mm. so like when you're when you're squatting down yes, you're right your there. arm is like right next yes, to like the disgusting urinal okay anyways it's enough of that Ugh. all right very good Sick. yeah i would do it for five grand mm. well mm -hmm. now she should actually have to do it dead mm -hmm. that's the dare find me a porta potty i would do it <laughs> put five grand in there though all right kendall's turn all right tails oh you get a truth all congratulations right. who do you think is the worst dressed person in this room hmm. let me take a good <laughs> look at all of you like right now or just in general, I feel like. I think oh, right. in general. Oh, that's mean. No, I think just, oh yeah, worst, best in general. I think who's the worst, yeah, dressed in general. I'm not, not right answering now. that. Really? No really? way. That's Why? mean. It's not that mean. And I can't even think. All, you guys I are would all answer it. well dressed. <laughs> Who would it be? Well, well, I, I can question. say who's the best, to. but I'm not going to answer who's the worst. Okay. And uh, you can also remember that the Lights Out crew is in the other room, so. No. Oh, they count? No. Uh, you have to put that truth back in the bucket, too, so just in case Janelle gets it. Okay. Oh, you just <laughs> want me to get it? Okay, <laughs> great. So you have to so do you're a not going to answer it? No, I'm not going to answer that. Oh, it's my. too mean. Okay. I feel bad. Go ahead, spin the thing. Three. I also just kind of want to see what dares you guys have. Let the person next to you wax whatever they want, except the face. Of course, they get the waxing one. <laughs> Mm, this is good. Good. You want to wax me? Yeah. All right. Have you ever waxed anybody before? Um, I waxed John's eyebrows and gave him a burn and ripped off his skin on accident. Beautiful. But that was with um soft wax. So, I I trust myself with hard wax. I've been getting waxed for mm, years now, so I feel like I know. But you just make sure it's not too hot. You Ooh, this on. is so fun. Oh my god, this is fun to play with. I can play with this all day. Okay. Here, let's move this over okay. so people can see. All right, here we go. That's a large section you're doing there, friend. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Janelle. I have, Kate. To, I have to spread it out, dude. <laughs> Fuck. But you want it to be thick too. You don't want it to be too I thin. Know. Guys, come on now. Give me some credit here. Now you gotta kind of let it harden up. I have watched my waxer do this like a million times. You I think watch I know her exactly. down there? Well, I mean like. <laughs> I know what she's yeah. doing. <laughs> yeah, kind of. So next step now mm -hmm. is to get a little... Go against the hair, right? I'm going to go like this. No, that's... You have to go the yeah, other way. Other like way. this? <laughs> oh my God, it really hurts, dude. <laughs> I have to get a piece up. Ready? 
Ah, I yes, don't, do I don't it think fast. I don't think it's, I think it needs to harden more. Hold on. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, don't wait too long. No, I think it has to harden or it won't come off. Yeah. I don't want to hurt you. It needs to harden way more. <laughs> Good God, bro. The things I do for the show. I can help. Okay, I think this is better. No, I don't need your help. I can do it. Ready? <laughs> and we can apply pressure after. One, two, three. Ah! <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> what? I've never seen any movies. You don't know anything. Wait, is wow. That, it's a little it really like forest. Works. Look how smooth it is. Oh my gosh. Nice. I just got a little residue. You're going to have to get off. Later yeah. At some I'll, point. I'll or yeah. Use that. the back end of it and kind of. Oh my yeah. God. Oh. No, that didn't work. Dude, this is the worst part. Now you left all these little fucking. You suck at this. No tip. <laughs> it ripped your spray tan off. <laughs> Dude, I'm bleeding. <laughs> what? You made me bleed. That's not bleeding. It's just yes, a red. No, that is blood. Look. I'm bleeding. Okay, that is not. You've real. injured me. <laughs> Did it hurt that bad bleeding. once I got it off? Um, no. It, the peeling it up, yeah. hurts more. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I'm gonna have to get off all this little bullshit. Oh, this is fun. Damn, I want to do this. You can do oil and get it up. Ow. Okay. Ooh, good job. All right, spicy. You My turn. So I go ahead and do a dare. Okay. One. One. In one minute, write a short poem about millennials. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> write a poem? Okay, fine. You got one minute. Actually, I can do this. What kind of bullshit is this? She gets to write a poem and I had to get my arm waxed. <laughs> and I'm bleeding. Remember when it felt young to, to be a millennial? I was like, oh, we're millennials. We're the next generation. Now I just feel old. People are always dogging on millennials now. I know. That's all I see. <laughs> Mine is like, so dumb. You're not going to want this. Time's up. <laughs> Mine is so bad. Okay, ready? I'm like Shakespeare. <laughs> millennials, millennials are so quirky and fun. They act like they have debt the size of the sun with their space buns. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I fucking have. That's it. Wait, that was it? <gasps> yes, it was one minute. Read it again. Millennials, Sorry. millennials are so quirky and fun. They act like they have debt the size of the sun. They kind of do. With their space buns. <laughs> That's not that bad. Yeah. I think that was pretty good. I feel good. like millennials love space buns. Mm -hmm. like, Am I a millennial? No. You're Gen Z. What year are you born? 97. Yeah, so I'm you're like, Gen Z. I'm like the beginning of, I'm the end of millennials, beginning of Gen Z. Yeah. You're the very end of I'm a of transitioner. Nah. That's cool. You're a zillennial. I'm a zillennial. Mm -hmm. I love my space buns. See? Millennial. Millennials love space buns and they have depth the size of the sun. That's pretty good. Thank it's, you. It's true. Okay. Well, you know what? too bad. Effort. That was an easy fucking dare. Should I put the feet. should I put the used wax back in the bowl for Sydney later? Ew. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> let, the, let the hair melt in there. Mm. That'd be so gross. All right, Kendall. Dare. Let me. You gotta, gotta dare? Yep. Spin. Only dares for me, I guess. Six. In two minutes, draw a portrait of the opponent. Okay, draw a portrait of me. I want it to look good. Okay. Well, I'm a terrible artist, so it's not gonna look good. Okay, you get a minute and a half. I, it said two. It said two. You, you can entertain to? them for two minutes. Okay, okay I'll entertain. Better you be really good minutes. quality. Better be some I Picasso. Won't look. Ready, set, go. I like it, Picasso. <laughs> Have you guys ever tried to wax your own coochies? Are you not entertained? Yeah, I tried the top. You Fuck. did? That's like the most painful part of the whole thing. Well, because I was kind of like nervous about it, and I didn't want to just go in there. Oh, and it was so a little painful. hot. Like I need to, I would need to work on my timing with the <laughs> heat. Jesus Christ! I will say <laughs> it's gonna be so ugly. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's nice. The brown, the chocolate starfish is the least painful part of it all. Ew, why do you call it chocolate that? Star Ew, dude. What's a chocolate starfish? <laughs> for, oh, for the waxing? I would just be yeah. nervous, like, myself. Like, my hand being a little shaky and then, like, dripping or I don't I know. I feel like I wouldn't be able to actually pull it off. I've never told the story about how... No, me neither. I got recognized right before my wax, right? Yeah, you did. That yeah, was yep. cute. And then you had to pull your pants down story. right after? Yep. Yep. They're I went like, in oh and she's God. like, oh, my God, I've seen you on... TikTok or Facebook or something, and I was like, oh my God, this is my actual worst nightmare. Now I have to drop my pants and <laughs> pull my ass cheeks apart for this stranger. Hell yeah. And your knees Who to your chest. Me. Knees to chest, baby. That's my favorite part. She could have like gone to my Pretty comments easy. and wrote like, oh my God, I waxed her cooch. All right, time's up. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yep. Here we go. Wait, okay, why is that like not that bad? <laughs> Well, oh, you put gave me a necklace that has Charlie on it. Yes. 
Okay, that's like not that bad. Is that the contour? Or... Yeah, I tried to do contour. Oh, I didn't <laughs> even notice that. It looks like sideburns. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My glasses aren't that square though. I know. But this is actually really not that bad. That took you two minutes. Yeah. Will you frame that and put that in your office? I'll yeah. sign it for you. Yeah, it's you really need to not sign that it. bad actually. I'm kind of impressed. Your signature is the thing that's scary. It's don't not even that bad. I've worked on it. Oh, you have? It's not too bad. It's just different every time. Yeah. Remember when we were in, <laughs> we were doing like a live show in Austin and you had to go the night before and just oh my practice. God, yes. She had to practice her signature over and over because she didn't have one. I yeah. was like, dude. I still don't. It's different every time. It's different It's a every one of time. a kind. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. That was actually pretty cute. I liked that. Good mm -hmm. job. Very fun. Okay. My turn. Dare. Dare again. Jesus. Okay. Let me just give it a good spin here. Well, hit a nine. Nine, 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 nine. For the next two minutes, you must speak in an accent. Well, that is literally not hard at all. Are you kidding me? I could speak in an accent for decades upon decades. Oh, no. I can see the comments now. Or should I try something else? I'll do multiple ones. Yeah, I think Ooh. you need a different one. Je France. <laughs> <laughs> How about I give you an accent? Okay, hit do. me. German. I slide, slide. Hello, my name is Janelle. Oh my god, that is the worst accent I've ever heard. I'm German, right. and I like. To oh, eat. Is that a French talk German? about in German how you're gonna make beer out of your vagina yeast? I will take the <laughs> yeast from the vagina and put it in. A crock pot to create. <laughs> this is very stereotypical. <laughs> to create the beer for the consumers to have. <laughs> the cons consumers. <laughs> Hit me with a different one. Okay, um, Scottish. Oh, yeah, Scottish. <laughs> I am very Scottish. I like to sit here and <laughs> pick all four leaf clover, and I like to drink. <laughs> Guinness, that's actually Irish, and oh, so it so it's so clovers. <laughs> <laughs> and I also will play the bagpipe on um Saint Patty's Day. All right, and let's... drink um Odu. Oh, they drink Odoo's. this. They have this one. Odu's. Oh, it's called like. Dang, when I was there, okay. I tried it. You're not helpful. It's a type of soda. It's called like <laughs> bod or something. I don't know. Oh, bod. I drink. That's I not it. <laughs> and also, I just want to say that I will. <laughs> I will this is painful. I will go ahead and sell my yeast um on OnlyFans. If you would like some good Scottish yeast, <laughs> poor Declan. He's probably like with the fuck, I know our friend from Scotland. Um. And I will make sure. Is the timer He'd going be proud. on? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The timer is going on. Time is off. You assholes. It's just you're right. so loud in here. Okay, thanks. Right. That was good enough. Uh, that hurt my throat really bad. Jeez, accents are hard, man. They are. How do accents become a thing? That's what I want to I don't really know. know. It'd be interesting to learn the history of accents and, and how they came about. Like, how do you just know to talk like that? And it just comes naturally? It's just what everyone around you talks you know your parents and mm -hmm. you just pick it up i think it's there's a conspiracy mm. okay all right kendall we flipped for you okay and you have to spin the board damn oh, dare, dare? dare number seven seven <laughs> number seven <laughs> number seven is this seven okay eat the chosen snack with no hands <laughs> the chosen snack why are my dares so much yep. worse? <laughs> you go. Mine is like you speaking go. in an accent. Yeah. Yours is get waxed and mm -hmm. <laughs> and take shots. Do you feel anything from your shot? My hand. Uh, no, not really. Do you want a Maybe one? I feel like a little more relaxed. Wow, I'm surprised. Because you're kind of a lightweight. I am. Could hit me at any point. Who knows? Mm. Sydney says snack is good snack. All right, what do I have? Oh, okay. So it's just what is this? God, you guys, such treats. I'm trying mm. to eat healthy today. <laughs> She said no Bread. hands. No hand. Oh, I see. I thought it was with your hands. No, no hands. Guys, how am I supposed to no, eat this? You gotta get the middle thing out. Okay, so it's what an is it? Oreo with peanut butter and marshmallow. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. 
<laughs> so you're like making out with the bowl. Mm. Wow. Wow. She's no hands. hands. Is it you. good? Yeah, it's very good. It's peanut butter and marshmallow. She said, look, Ma, no hands. <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> that looks so sexual, though. Oh, my God. The fact that your face is in there. Mm. <laughs> okay, good job. Damn. Very good. Impressive. Impressive. Wait, you have to eat it all. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, lick the bowl. All right, my turn. Truth. Truth? Okay. Who would you help to, uh, who would you call to help bury a body and trust they wouldn't turn you in? Corelli. <laughs> you and I, girl. That's okay. Yeah. To the you death. Know I'd be calling. Yeah. Also, I don't think you could do it. Uh, not saying that you and I would be much better, Corelli, but I think we would have the best. I what think so me? too. No, me? you would suck. No offense. Why? Because you <laughs> guys offended. couldn't handle it, I feel like. This but is you a think job. I'd turn you in? Yeah, I think you would turn yourself in, to be honest. <laughs> like, no. I think Same. it would get to you. Yeah, I would turn myself in. I think Curly yeah. and I will have the best shot of getting away with it. Okay. I How about say- everyone answer what they think? I would say Janelle, actually, because I feel Curly. like Janelle can hold a secret. Oh, for sure. What about you, Sid? <laughs> I would struggle with Janelle because of the aftermath anxiety that, like, constant, maybe, like, you know, oh, my God, I can't believe... Like, oh, I would be being so nervous. mentally unwell. It would be insane. But it's hard. I wouldn't wrap myself I think with out. I don't you, think. Curly, yeah, would. because we're not always like, I mean, like we could just. What does it say about me? <laughs> that, that I can hide a body? That you are down for a challenge. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. She is the fire sign among us. I would choose um, Kendall. But oh, wait, <laughs> you are a fire sign too. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I'd choose like one of you two. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so, I wouldn't tell anyone. My decision would be Janelle. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But I have, I'm such a freak though. I'd be like, Janelle. It would probably ruin your life, but it would definitely ruin my life. Honestly, Emily. Yes. Emily would be a Anyone great in this one. office, probably Emily. <laughs> yeah. Emily's really smart. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. But between us four and loyal, me and Crowley. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for We're that. We're the smartest Agreed. and the most loyal here, bitch. That's right, honey. <laughs> you and I. You and I. Um, um, fire sign team. Imagine mm-hmm. Kendall and I doing Emily's it. Emily's a fire sign too. You and you and Kendall doing it would be a <laughs> fucking mess. It'd be honestly hilarious. It would be a complete disaster. Oh yeah, we we would turn ourselves in like we immediately. Would attempt to, and then we would just be like, "All right, we're we're fucked. That's it. We give up. We're sorry." Also, I feel like you wouldn't do a very good job. I feel like it wouldn't be very thorough. I think we could do a good job, but it would <laughs> no. Make I feel, me like feel like you'd leave like the foot sticking out or something. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, I'd be like, "Ah, don't hurt them." You're like, "No, they're dead." <laughs> Exactly like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't hurt them. They're dead. All right, next spin. Candonelli. You got Candonelli. Truth. Hmm. Mm. All right. Truth. Rank your work team members from favorite to least favorite. That is not happening. Why not? Absolutely not. Not ranking people. Who's the least favorite here? No one. You had to fire someone right now. Who'd it be? <sighs> yeah. No one. You got to pick one of us. No, I have the best team ever. Mm-hmm. Absolutely not. I'm doing All a right, dare. fine. Lame. Eight. All right. Call a friend or family member and sing them happy birthday. <laughs> Even if funny. it's not their birthday. I don't know anyone who's whose birthday it is today. Um. Ooh. I feel like my mom would be funny because she calls me and sings me happy birthday every year. <laughs> yeah, you should do that. <laughs> okay, do it. Okay. This is Kathleen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kathleen. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hang up. <laughs> she probably yeah. knows it's me and yeah. she's like yeah. what the fuck's wrong with you even say one thing she's no. gonna be like those damn sesh girls prank calling me again <laughs> i wanted to hear her reaction i'm surprised she didn't start like laughing or something she's got to know that was me the laugh i feel like gave it away your yeah. laugh yeah. <laughs> all right sorry i tried not to okay my turn maybe she'll call back janelle you got heads Five. <clears throat> God, my voice is all crackly. 
My throat kind of hurts. Eat a spoonful of hot sauce. What kind of hot sauce is it? The one in our uh, sriracha. Sriracha? <laughs> sriracha? Dude, I can't eat that. Yes, you have to. No. You've had no good dare so far. I can't eat that. All you've had to do is make a poem. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat sriracha. I hate sriracha. Too bad. It's, it's a so, dare. It's I got my so arm spicy. waxed. I would rather get my arm waxed than eat sriracha. Suck it. That's the you way it shook it. out. You suck it. Girls, gals, ladies. 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 <laughs> Is it a tablespoon or a teaspoon? It's a lot. That's a fucking lot, bro. Oh my God. I hate sriracha. I hate sriracha too. It's the such worst. a nasty flavor. You, you want to... Hit the tomato soup after. Yeah, hit me with the tomato. Or would soup you like after. the marshmallow after? I could rather have the marshmallow. Really, I feel like tomato soup would be better. No, it's not too. Big. I think the marshmallow will calm it down. Okay. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> oh. God, it's, it's a butt so burner. <laughs> mm, it's good. Mm. There you go. The marshmallow is good. Oh, my throat's on fire. I feel like my butthole's going to burn <laughs> in a few hours here. I just hate sriracha so much. Your stomach's going to burn. That was a lot. <laughs> my dad would always call sauces that are too spicy a butt burner. This is a butt burner. <laughs> spicy diarrhea tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. This is a good combo, though. Peanut butter yeah. and marsh. I'm yeah, going to have that for good. lunch. All right, Kendall. Go ahead. Those sandwiches, what are those called? Sandwiches? A peanut butter fluff? Fluffer fluff nutter, nutter, right? Something. Oh yeah, fluffer nutters. Okay, we spun. Um, yeah, dare. Okay, here we go. Eight. There's only ten or four. Okay, so we'll do which one's closer to eight. Ten. ten. Right. <laughs> Is how math works. In one minute, write a short poem about guns. <laughs> massage gun. Oh. A massage gun. <laughs> I said write a short like, message about guns. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> about massage guns. Yeah, like a Theragun or something. Time's it does, up. It rhymes. Okay. All right. I came up with massage guns are such fun. They can help relieve your buns. They can also help relieve your stress. Just put it to the test. But the highest setting you should not press. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that <was> good. <laughs> not too bad. Damn. But the highest setting you should not press. T. Or else gonna be painful. Wow. Okay. Painfully good. Oh, mm. go off, Carly. Good for you. A Theragun, though. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you'd get a little bruised. Those things hurt so yeah, bad, yeah, just in general. Cool. Real bad. All right. So you're left with one dare. All right. I'm just gonna do the dare. Last yeah, okay. dare. Do the dare. Okay. Prank call one of your coworkers. Oh. <laughs> okay. I have to figure out who to do. Damn it. Your call. Okay, everyone hates me. That's great. No one answers prank calls these days. It's a different time. Remember how hard it was during our prank call episode to get someone to answer? Your call has been... Dang it. All right. Well, you weaseled your way out of that one. Sorry. No can do. No one answered my call. I called like literally seven people. Like 80 million times. All Dang. right. Well, that's a great way to... To end it. To end it. Big flop on my part. Mm, on their parts. You tried your best. Hey, you know what? Do you guys have a last minute dare you can give her? Nothing. Sorry. Right. I, I dare you to free. end the show in your German accent. <laughs> Ooh, end the show on a musical note. In you German? Know she's willing to do that. Yeah. <laughs> German song. Sexy version. Let's go. Sexy German song. <laughs> end it. Feel free to do dance moves. Yep. Um, I don't know how Germans dance. I feel like it, like they dance like all of us do. <clears throat> It'll be sexy. Oh well, God. that's it for this sesh. Next time we will be waxing each other's buttholes. So stay tuned for that next week. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you on the next sesh. But until then, keep fresh, it. you must keep it. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> all right, guys. Love you. We'll see you next time.